Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel for another video today. I wanted to hop on here very quickly and talk to you guys about the Manjaro shortage and Zephon shortage, terzepatide, and what is going on with all that. Um, there has been so much over the course of the past like week to two weeks being released with um, the news about the Zephon possible vial coming out and all of that. There's just been so much going on and it's moving at such a fast pace, like literally every time I get on and look at different like news sources, different things are happening. So this all started for me today, personally, when I watched the Yahoo Finance um, YouTube video that they released a day or two ago. And they actually have um, Dave Knapp from the On The Shot or On The I can't remember exactly what the name of it is, but he has a YouTube channel. I've watched him like a million times before. He's been really involved with the whole Manjaro, Zepbound, Ozempic, Wagovi, weight loss injection thing. He's actually um, a type two diabetic. And so he started his process um, to hopefully prevent him from having to have gastric bypass and yada, yada, yada. So he, they had him on Yahoo Finance and he was talking about just the overwhelming um, need for this medication in America and then just exactly how hard it is for Eli Lilly to produce um, in the in the words of the actual Eli Lilly big man on campus um, the auto injectors are some of the hardest things to manufacture on the planet that's literally what he said in a press conference and um, that is exactly like I've been saying this whole time that is what the shortage sort of really comes down to it's not on the peptide it's not on the terzepatide it's on the auto injector and they are having difficulty manufacturing that the injector at a pace high enough to meet the demand of the prescriptions. Just a week ago, actually, um, Zepbound overtook Wagovi for pr new prescriptions in a week, which was the first time that has happened. We are seeing unprecedented levels of requests for any medication ever. This is absolutely insane. And that is kind of why, of course, the shortage is happening, right? Now, there's this whole sort of social media campaign going on right now that's called release the vial hashtag release the vial and it is calling for eli Lilly to release set bound in the the vial form now if you guys have been following along at all eli Lilly has not actually come out themselves and said anything about the vial like there's not been any official eli Lilly press release talking about the vial also if you hear children my daughter is in the bathtub right here so I asked her to be a little quieter. We'll see if she listens to that. But anyway, um, Eli Lilly has not actually come out. There's been no official press release from them, from the mouth of Eli Lilly about Zepbound coming out in a vial. And there's a lot of different processes on this. It sort of got leaked. Honestly, the information on the vial got leaked and it's blown up with this whole release the vial campaign. Eli Lilly is set to have some big meeting on the 30th of April. <clears throat> where most people assume that some type of announcement will come from that meeting. After they have that meeting, after they go over everything, their numbers and crunching all their stuff that they do, they will release a something about the uh, vial option. So we could be getting some news in terms of the Zepbound vial after that meeting, right? So May, June, July, hopefully within the next few months, we will be getting some type of good news, some magic news that will make us all feel better about this shortage. But make no mistake, the shortage looks like it's going to be around for a very long while, probably through the end of the year is what most sources are saying. So we're talking holidays, you know, we're going to be putting our Christmas trees up, still talking about this shortage. And that's just the way it is, which is one of the reasons why I switched to compound, which you guys know. Also, this is a little bit off topic, uh, but I have mentioned that I am with orderly meds going for my compounds. That's the telehealth provider that I went with. And I also mentioned to you guys recently that I had reached out to them um, because they were running a deal in April, no, in May, March, in March, where you got $50 off if you were a new customer. And that expired in the beginning of April. And so now um, there's no like 
current promotion going on with any amount off, even if you use somebody's code, which everybody gets a code when they sign up to like refer people. Um, it used to be that you would get 50 and they would get uh, credit, but that's gone away as of March. So I reached out to Chris Sears, which is um, one of the, the big like communicators at the company. I think he's one of the heads. He, like if you ask a question, he's the one that's going to email you back. He's really um, handy in the Facebook group for responding to questions. But I reached out to him and asked if I could get a code to offer to you guys. I'm still not working with them. They're not sponsoring me. None of that. But he did say, yeah, sure, of course, because I've gotten at this point like over 40 referrals. And I said, hey, I'm bringing a lot of people to you. Can we have something to offer them? Like, I don't need anything. I'm getting a credit, but I don't need anything beyond that. But I would love it if you could offer them something. So what he was able to do for now, and he said we will revisit it in a month or so, was offer me a $50 um, code that you can use to get $50 off if you are one of the lower dosages. He said that they had no way right now of offering it for the higher dosages. So if you're just starting or if you're on one of the lower dosages, this code should work for you. I will leave it linked in the description box or I'll just leave my link down there and I'll write the code out as well. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but I will have that in the description box. I wanted to throw that in there because I know that I said that I would update on that when I had an update and he ended up emailing me the code last night. So I have that for you guys as promised. I told you I'm trying to take care of everything here for everybody involved. Now back to the shortage issue. Like I said, there is this sort of release the vial campaign and what we can do, like what can we do to hopefully get them to release Zepbound in a vial, right? Hashtag the crap out of that, y'all. Write it in YouTube comments, <laughs> write it in on Facebook, write it in Reddit posts, write it everywhere that will pick up a hashtag write, release the vial, hashtag release the vial. Let's, I mean, essentially now a social media campaign like this is the same thing as like a change.org thing, right? Like you can get a lot of attention if enough people start kind of throwing the gun at this. So hashtag that everywhere, y'all. I've hashtagged it everywhere I can on this video. And I want you guys to do the same thing so that we can get Eli Lilly's attention. Now, one more thing that I wanted to talk about with you guys is the new Eli Lilly factory that they are building in Concord, North Carolina. Some of you know, some of you don't. I'm actually very, very close to Concord, North Carolina. Uh, my mom, in fact, lives not in Concord, but around that area. She's like 15 minutes from the new, um, factory and I actually drove by it about a week ago and I was like oh my goodness so if you know anything about that area the new factory is actually going to be built on old Philip Morris land so years and years and years ago I mean we're talking a long time ago Philip Morris owned the um the factory that's actually across the street from the Eli Lilly factory and that's where all like Marlboros and all those cigarettes were made and distributed or whatever and they moved, I think, to Richmond, Virginia in the early 2000s. But before that, they had owned all the land on both sides of that highway. That is Highway 29, I believe, in Concord. So literally right across from where the old Philip Morris factory is, which is now, I believe, a battery factory or something like that. Um, no, no, it's a car dealership. It's Carmazon, I think, or something like that. But anyway, uh, they are building the Eli Lilly factory, and it is he huge y'all and i feel like that just sets this precedent or it's you know them acknowledging like we need something somewhere and y'all let me tell y'all when they open that factory i'm just gonna be driving my little butt down to concord trying knocking on their door to get their mess and they're gonna know about britney <laughs> that's what i'm gonna say uh but anyway it's it's coming along very well i'm not sure on an opening date yet i actually was not able to find that online even when i looked but they have the eli Lilly sign up out front there's a lot going on there's like excavators and all types of stuff and they have a lot of the buildings up already which is just really exciting that this is coming to this point something that i heard david say or dave say in the yahoo finance video which i will link below if you want to go watch it something that i loved that he said was that when he started his journey, he actually was on, he was diabetic already and was having trouble balancing all of his numbers. And it was coming to the point where he was going to have to have gastric bypass. 
he started on one of the weight loss injections and lost all this weight and now is not having to even remotely consider gastric bypass. And something that he said was, we have medically found a way to accomplish the same thing that this massive invasive life changing surgery was meant to accomplish. So it's sort of like the old weight loss surgery is getting pushed out in this new, much less invasive, much safer overall, much less life altering thing is coming into the picture. People that have weight loss surgery, they literally like, I know a lot of this stuff because my mom actually had weight loss surgery. Her nutrients are always deficient. She takes so many freaking vitamins a day. There's so many foods that she can't eat that her stomach just can't handle. Carbonation is one. Broccoli has always been one for my mom. A lot of people can't handle meat. It is so life-changing and so altering in so many ways, not just with your, uh, your food intake, but your mind. It's just so nice to hear other people realize what I've been saying all along, that this is going to hopefully replace the need for this thing that was so risky to begin with. When you have people that are three, 400 pounds having a major surgery like that, there are so many risks. And to think that we can take weight loss medication and an injection and do and accomplish the same thing and not only accomplish the same thing as in making you eat less food and slowing your digestion, but fixing the mind aspect of it as well. One thing, I've been watching a lot of videos relating to just weight loss recently. And one thing that really has stuck out to me is this new notion that weight loss is not about food. Weight loss is not about your stomach and food as much as it is your brain you know? So that is my video that I have for you guys today. I wanted to touch base on this, get this known, release the vial, put it everywhere that you can plaster it. Um, and let's get them to release the vial. And hopefully after April 30th, we will have some news about that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Emoji of the day is going to be a flower. So let's drop that flower down below. Check out the code for orderly. If you are interested, I know a lot of you signed up after the other coupon expired. and I feel so bad about that. Um, so if you were waiting, if you're holding on, go ahead and try that out. Also, I am going to be hosting a giveaway soon because I am just so thankful to all of you that have signed up under me or used my referral link because you have saved me so much money. Um, I can't even explain my gratitude for that. So I'm going to be having something in special for you guys very soon. So be sure to subscribe if you're not stick around you know, hit that like button. We got lots of fun coming on over here. My next video that you guys will see is actually my loose skin story. We're going to be talking about that. Do I have loose skin after being on Manjaro for a long time since November of 2022 and losing 83 pounds? So thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a flower in the comment section and I will see you guys tomorrow actually, because this one was not planned, but tomorrow we got a planned one. Have a great day guys. Bye.